So there's not exactly one particular reason why, but we are taking a pregnancy test today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I recently chatted with like one of my friends that I haven't talked to in a while and she was like, Emily, I had a dream that you were pregnant. Are you pregnant? And I was like, I don't think I am. With Aubrey, I didn't get my period back until like nine months postpartum. So I was like, I don't, I mean, I haven't gotten my period back yet. And I just, I don't think that there would be a chance of that. But she really, you know, was convinced that I might be pregnant because of that dream. And then I was laying on my bed today and like, my belly was like moving. Like I felt like it was baby kicks, but I'm like, I would have to be months along in order to feel this way. <laughs> and so I'm like, you know what? Let's just take an ovulation test and see if like there's a line that appears. And a line did appear on the ovulation test, and but it wasn't like as dark as the control line. So I still kind of feel like, okay, well maybe that just means I'm gonna be getting my period soon because it is about that time, like with Aubrey, that I got it back. But I have been tired lately, but I mean, that's just kind of normal. So I don't know, there's no like particular reason, but we're gonna go ahead and take a pregnancy test because I have one. I think it's gonna expire soon, if not already. So if it is, then who knows if this will even be worth showing you guys, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to go to the store and get another one. And then while we're on the topic of babies, I'll show you guys a fun little product that we got for Jack. Okay, so the ovulation test that I took expires, let's see what stays, expires tomorrow. So I'm glad I took it. Uh, that one did show a line. The pregnancy test that I have expired on August 31st of this year. I don't really know if that will mean anything, but let's just take an expired pregnancy test. Just a month old, that shouldn't be that bad, right? So it's been three minutes and There is absolutely no result. <laughs> Look at this. There, it looks like nothing even took place. So maybe this is why they say don't use after the expiration date. Yeah, I mean, I don't even really even see the test line or the control line or whatever it is. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, there's like, it, it doesn't even look like I took a test. So if I randomly pop out a baby in a couple of months, um, we'll know that, you know, my friend was right and my little kicking intuition was right, but I really don't think I'm pregnant. I just don't know what that twitching was in my belly when I was laying down. Anyways, this was kind of odd. I was expecting at least like something, even though, I mean, just a month expired. Anyways, okay, whatever. Maybe I'll take another one in an upcoming video and we'll see you know, the one that's not expired, what it says. But let's go ahead and open up and get a new little toy ready for Bubs. Aubrey was the one who really wanted it and picked it out. So we will uh, go check out this little toy. I'd like to thank Sanmerson for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this fun musical toy for Jack and as you will see, Aubrey loves it too. The product needs three AA batteries and has two sound levels. The buttons on top of the toy play different songs and sounds and allow you to change up the little disco lights. After the song or sound plays, the lights will continue to spin around without playing any additional sounds, which in my opinion as a parent, this is a nice feature. The toy has little wheels on the bottom to allow the children to spin or move it easier. And another cute feature is the little spinning dolphin and turtle on the inside of the toy. On this day, Aubrey got into Jack's bed to keep him company after he woke up from a nap, so I figured I would surprise them with the toy while they were still chilling in his crib. So let's go ahead and check out my kiddo's first impression of the toy. Look, Bubby! <laughs> here, let's make it extra fun and make it dark in here.
this toy, Aubrey. I love it because, because it's Bubs. He likes it. You, you think Bubs likes it too? Yeah. I think he does too. I think he's fascinated by the lights. So as you guys saw, both kids seemed intrigued with the toy. Jack especially loved the lights and enjoyed watching them rotate on the wall when he would knock over the toy on its side. Aubrey enjoyed pressing the buttons and changing up the sounds. I have to say that even I enjoyed watching the lights decorate the walls in the dark room. And I can definitely see us using this toy in the future if the kids and I want to have a little dance party or something like that. I will place the link to the product down below in the description box for your convenience if you'd like to pick up this awesome toy. Again, I'd like to thank Sanderson for sponsoring this portion of today's video and blessing my children with a new fun toy to play with. Well, I guess we're going to leave the question of whether this guy's a big brother up in the air. I really don't think I'm pregnant, but I really don't know why my stomach would feel like I'm kicking, like or getting, getting kicked. But anyways, what do you want to say? You want to be the baby for a while, right? But whatever is God's in God's plan. So him and I are just in this little gated area that we got. Aubrey has stolen that baby toy. She's enjoying that, you know, playing with it in her room. So obviously it is fun for four-year-olds to play with as well. Uh, this little guy is happy with whatever. <laughs> Bubby. Hi, Bubby. I don't know how I would feel about having two under two. I think I'd be a little overwhelmed because right now I feel like I'm just kind of swimming in two, four, and under. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, whatever. I mean, God knows what I can handle. So whatever he gives me, you know, is what I'll be able to take care of. But two under two just kind of sounds a little overwhelming to me. So I don't know, probably take another test in a while, but I really don't think I'm pregnant. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, I feel like a bum. <laughs> I probably look like a bum. Like I just, I, I don't know. I haven't been feeling super motivated to work out really at all. Uh, I've gained a lot of weight since like moving into our house. Don't know why exactly because my eating habits really haven't changed much. Like if anything, I'm not eating as like much um, like restaurant-y food. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I, I don't know why I would gain so much weight. There's a part of me that cares, but then there's a part of me that just doesn't care. And that's probably a problem <laughs> that I just don't really care. I mean, I know I need to be super healthy, but I just feel like a bum and I don't care enough to do anything about it. And I don't know how to change that. I'm still taking my antidepressants and everything. So if I was pregnant and there was like a reason I was feeling this way, that would explain things. I just don't think I'm pregnant. I think you're still just the only baby in my life. And this guy is the sweetest little baby. I mean, if I had another one like him, I would be happy. Except for the fact that it took him so long to sleep through the night. But we are sleeping through the night now, for the most part. There's a couple nights like where he wakes up, but he also is like breaking four teeth. <laughs> and you know, that can't be fun for him. But even with that, he's very pleasant. You are very pleasant, Bubs. And I love you so much. But he's like standing on his own. He's kind of walking around like this gated area. Um, you <laughs> just, no, no, no. Oh, that's a freaky toy. But yeah, so anyways, the consensus of taking an expired pregnancy test is that I don't know if I'm pregnant or not. <laughs> uh, that ovulation test was not expired, but it didn't really have like a super strong second line. So in general, when you have an ovulation test, you need it to be like just as dark for it to be like ovulating. And so... If I had any um, progesterone like spike because of being pregnant, I think that line would have been darker anyways. 
Yeah. So uh, we're just going to uh, leave this up in the air. Uh, At least we got a fun little oh, toy to play with. And you guys got to see Bubs and Aubrey. Bubba, do you want to say goodbye? That was actually pretty good. I didn't expect him to wave. Anyways, thanks for checking in, checking in on me, uh, listening to me just ramble. I hope that I didn't bore you guys too much. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are new and see if I end up having two under two. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.